Hi there, welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do another card reading for you today. I'm going to start with the the Goddess Guidance cards. That's God and the Angels. Oh. Okay, right away we got Rihanna. Rihanna, Sorceress. You are a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into into reality. And then you got Green Terra. Start delegating. Ask others, including me, to help you instead of trying to do everything by yourself. So call in Green Terra and call in Rihanna. R Rihanna? Rihanna. Pull a couple Archangel cards for you, too. Let's go, the Angels. Cleanse and bless these cards from all past readings. What Archangels are working with the collective? Archangels are working with the collective today. The Archangels are working with the collective today. Okay, we got Archangel Ariel Prosperity. Your material needs are provided as you follow your intuition and manifest your dreams into reality. Archangel Ariel. And Archangel Uriel. It's a brilliant idea. Yes, your idea is divinely guided. Please take action to bring your idea into fruition. I'll pull from the Infinite Energies Oracle card deck. God and angels to cleanse and bless these cards from all past readings. What does the collective need to know today? What does the collective need to know today? We got hope. It's card number 13. Hope is the only thing stronger than fear. Communication is card number 37. Good communication is the bridge between confusion and clarity. And we got positivity is card number 16. Whoever is happy will make others happy too. That's very true. I'll pull a couple from the Art of Manifestation Oracle Cards deck. Let's go to the angels to cleanse and bless these cards from all past readings. Let's go to the angels to cleanse these cards from all past readings. What does the collective need to know today? We got choices and decisions. It's card number six. The choices that we make today are defining the shape of our tomorrow, and so it is hardly surprising that we sometimes worry about making the right decisions. Do not shroud your mind in the fog of uncertainty. Just as you have choices today, you also have choices tomorrow and the day after. So be assured you can always change course again. It's okay not to be okay, and it's card number 28. When we feel low or have challenging emotions, we often feel bad about feeling bad. This effectively doubles the emotional load. 
This card asks you to understand your difficult feelings as guidance, highlighting that something needs to change and that you're entitled to seek support in this. world are you? Getting to know the new you. And that was card number 19. And I want to be a queen. Card number 33. Starting your sovereignty. Stating your sovereignty. Declaring freedom and passing a test. And all in a golden afternoon, it's card number one. Inspiration, creative spark, imagination, and conception. And impossible things, it's card 34. Working through disbelief, imaginative leaps, and a fresh perspective. pull from the Island Time Wellness Love Oracle cards. Got the angels, cleanse and bless these cards from all past readings. We had a whole bunch fall. So we got I like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming, fun flirting, and wanting to date. And you got boat, re receiving what you need. Progression, arriving, moving on, and closure issues. Ooh, love call. Someone expresses love, a message of love. They're thinking of you and letting you know. You got a hand of cards. Take a chance, take a risk, being strategic, options, not showing hand, and gambling. Abundance. Keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want with gratitude and bliss. The more gratitude you show, the more it helps your manifestations. Oh, I think I used these ones already. Let's try these. What does the collective need to know today? What could they be dealing with? Hmm. I am Tally. From death comes rebirth. So know you are protected, whatever you're dealing with. Candy cane angel. It's time for a treat. Go treat yourself today. We got at the bottom of the deck, we got Marine Masquerade, Glamour, Intrigue, and Drama. Amara, the Minhyun, Aloha Healing. So send prayers to Maui and to Hawaii and to whoever that needs it. There's so many people that need prayers. Nautilus Princess, you're going through powerful personal growth.
Strange Companions and Stranger Places. It's card number 28. You got challenges, use your imagination. We got the Dragonfly Mermaid. It's card number 19. You've attracted wonderful news. The Mermaid and the Turtle. It's card number 25. An elder will teach you. Listen to your elders. They have such great stories. Great advice. And then we got Kitsune. It's card number two. I will show you whom to trust. The Golden Phoenix. Something you thought finished bursts back into life. And it's card number 12. And a, you have a loyal guardian. A magical protector is there for you. It's card number 33. So always know you're protected and watched over. Who's the collective way to know today? Okay. It says, potential. Think big for your future. Use your imagination for your manifestations. Get to the point that where you actually feel it, that it's already here, and it'll bring it to you quicker. You have the owl spirit. Follow your intuition. You have resilience, so rise above the tribulations. Believe in your dreams. You know. Archangel Gabriel is here. He's the messenger of creativity and hope. So call him in for extra help. You could be going through spiritual enlightenment. Everybody's spiritual journey is special to them. I don't believe that everybody's spiritual journey is the same. So cheer up and just live in the moment. And set your goals. Learn to let go. Cherish the memories of loved ones. Take time for relaxation and adventure. Open your heart to expect a miracle. And pick your battles wisely. If you're dealing with competition, you need you can summon courage and self-confidence. Archangel Gabriel can help you with that. So can Archangel Michael. You could be battling with the blues and take steps towards a positive change. Focus on your good qualities. It's easy to get stuck in a perpetual path or a downward, downward spiral, especially if you're <clears throat> living on your own and you're not surrounded with a lot of support, like in your general life. So you have to be your own cheerleader. And um, 
I'll pull from the Work Your Light Oracle card deck. Just grab the angels, the coins and blessings. That's a lot from my past readings. Okay, we got the pillar of light. Your vibration is rising. You are the oracle. And the answer to your question is yes, so just say yes. Answer the call. What is your soul calling you to do? Ooh. The initiation, the rite of passage and crossing the threshold. And I'll pull one final card for you today. The Great Gathering. It's all coming together. Intuitive hits and soul tribe. So pay attention to the synchronicities that you're seeing. The different signs that you're being shown. Follow your inner guidance. If you're, if you're being nudged to do something, take the first step today in that. Whatever that may be. Thanks again. Welcome to the new subscribers. Please like the video if it resonated with you. Thank you. God bless and I love you guys. See you in my next upload.